What's going on, Champagne Gang? Fierce fam, confidant. <laughs> Welcome to the X Files Exposed, where we dive into all of those TikTok story times about exit. And child, we got a doozy for you today. So make sure you have your glass filled to the rim. Scoot up for a second. Let's get into it. So y'all, this story time comes from TikTok, and it's from this girl named AK Sirachi. Think I'm pronouncing that right? But y'all look, looks like she got a text or a call from her sneaky link link up or whatever you want to call her. Who said he wanted to fly her and her son out to Disneyland. And child, this is what unfolded. It's caught up at airport, invites to girls on the same trip to Disney World with kids. So like, I'll just stand right there and I'll turn around and I'll see you again. So I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what we're supposed to do. Even though you don't know me. And that's the man you with. And that's the man you with. I didn't pay for it though. The, the fact that you're gonna leave me at the airport with my baby, that's weird. You wanna see my Texas? If you gonna fight me, don't gonna don't get on you. that one. Not, and he no, but he know that. Look. Cause that's wrong. Cause he cause that's wrong. Gets caught up at airport. How long y'all been together? A while, a long time. Mm -hmm. You just got back together. Y'all had the little girl. First, oh. How long y'all been together? A while, a long time. Mm -hmm. You just got back together. Y'all had the little girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, you the? Yeah. You not his baby mama? Mm -hmm. At all? No. He told y'all his baby mama and I just. Yeah, he out. said you. He said my baby mama yeah. popped up. I'm your baby mama that popped And you up just blew the fuck out of him. He said you just blew the fuck out of him. I blew the fuck out of you. I didn't even, I blew the fuck out of you and randomly came. Come on now. So what? you still, so you still trying to drag her and then trying to leave me. Like, but what was you going to do though? When I kept texting you and calling you, like, what was you going to do? No, but I'm trying to figure out like, even if he would have said something, like he could explain all this without this happening. I'm no. Not baby mama. I, we, we live together. I'm just his girlfriend. And I knew something like that was going on because he never invited me to Frankfurt. And I'm like, what do you got going on at this Who house? Frankfurt? He, he said he, he said he, he said he lived in Frankfurt. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. 
That's me, so you can leave the trees. I never went to his house. So where y'all hang out? Yeah. We go out and we get rooms. Y'all went to Nando? We, yeah. You just recently? Mm-mm. He probably talked to other girls, girl. So he probably talked to a lot of girls. You say the you last time I talked to him, uh, I asked him for so a thousand dollars and he gave it to me. And he came over, like, every time he's weak, leak up. You said you recently, y'all recently was just fucking. The last time, he, he's the only one I've been with. Since when? When was the last time I've been with? Um, maybe like a couple weeks ago. Where you live? We use a, we use kind of though. I don't fucking know. Where y'all, where you live, where you live at? I stay in the city. No, uh, Cause I'm not, we, I'm not we on and off talk, like we don't, we're not in a relationship. Right. No, no, you know, no, like, no, So no, we, I'm we, we on and off talk. I'm, I'm, it's niggas. This is, I just want to know, like. My thing is this. What was you planning on doing? Were you gonna leave me at the fucking airport? I'm trying to figure out. I guess y'all was gonna go to y'all room and then he's gonna be like, Are oh, you still at the airport? I'm finna go. Like, what was you gonna do? And then I just, some girl was, that was talking to me on the plane. She was trying to get, I was trying to see, I was trying to figure out, like, if she, maybe she can give me a fucking ride to the hotel that he got. And the hotel. Oh, he got your room? Yeah. For, for, he said, he sent me this one. Y'all go ahead. He sent me this when we was on the plane when, it, when we landed. And I'm just like, What the fuck? Like, y'all finna go to this big house. So apparently it's gonna be a house. Everybody's gonna be at the house. Shit, right? Yeah. I'm his baby mom that blue, I ain't even got no kids. Wow. <laughs> I don't even have no kids. I mean, I'm not embarrassed. I never this never this no shit never happened to me before. And then he not my boyfriend, so I don't feel happy with my thing I'm is not like, embarrassed. I'm, I'm just out here and it's just this this is crazy though. Mm -hmm. This is crazy. And I don't know what type of he's like, oh be cool, like this my everything. I mean I don't, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, who all of a sudden is your everything? He like, said that. To, he said that to you. Who all? Because he said his other phone had died. So I'm trying to figure out who, who all of a sudden is your everything? The kids or the girl? Like, who's all of a sudden your everything? Because you just told me your baby mama is popped up and just blew the fuck out of you. I'm not I'm, 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 she just told some babe. I can just show you. How long y'all been together? A while, a long time. Mm -hmm. We just got back together. How smart was that? I could have been in my room if he hadn't canceled it, right? Y'all wouldn't even see me. I would have been in my fucking room. But you canceled my fucking room? You petty as hell, gang. I would have been in my room. They wouldn't even know I was here. You gonna cancel the room? You're really smart. You're really smart. I could have been in my room. Wouldn't even know I was here. But you canceled my shit. You was just, you just, you just showing Naya and Deshella a good example of a man. You were showing them a, you booked her a room in the same hotel as that your kids and everybody's family. Yes, dude. You did that? Go to show. You, you, you should have just kept my reservation. They wouldn't even never knew I was here. You so smart. You so smart. What the fuck you thought I was going to go? That's crazy as hell. This nigga just canceled my fucking reservation. Got me and my baby out here in the motherfucking Orlando. And you sitting up here acting like I'm some type of sad bitch. You acting like I'm some type of sad bitch though. When you be calling my motherfucking phone, nigga. Eating my pussy, bitch. You really gonna wail on me like that? I'm finna go down on your ass, nigga. I ain't never been no sad bitch, nigga. Never been. Never been. I don't get no fuck about your kids. No disrespect. I don't get no fuck. Cause this is wild the fuck. I got my motherfucking baby in this bitch. You know I got my own shit. I ain't never asked you for a motherfucking thing. You live with this lady. You live with this lady. You overfell. You overfell, gang. You overfell. You overfell, and you know where it's at with me. You know where it's at with me. You know where it's at with me. You know I ain't even like that. You know I ain't even like that. You know I ain't even like that. Real talk. Where the fuck my motherfucking headphone there? You know I ain't even fucking like that. You well as fuck. You got kids out here, gang. You well. This is some other other. They wouldn't even know I was here. You gonna cancel my shit? You bitch be trying to say fuck me, huh? For why? What, you, what, what was I gonna do with me and my baby at the airport? And you act like you, you act like I ran up to y'all like, and then like you, you, I was just like, so what I'm supposed to do? I was calm as fuck, gang. I won't even disrespectful. You finna get me another room. You finna get me another room. You finna get us a room. And you finna pay my motherfucking flight. You gonna get the fuck up out here? So who the fuck you fuck this one up? I'ma send this bitch up. I'ma send this bitch up. I'm ready. Cause you got the right bitch.
real quick, press pause because I need to say this. I understand her frustration with the situation and this ninja that she decided to trust. We'll get to that more at the end. But I never agree with this kind of behavior in front of the children. The children should never see adult issues. That's why the older generation used to make kids leave out the room when the adults were talking. And then we wonder where these children get these bad attitudes, these bad words, this bad behavior from because we consistently allow them in the room when adults are adulting. It's okay to be frustrated. It's not okay to allow your children to see you behave out of line or out of character because you're angry. Because that leaves an impression upon them. That plants seeds on the inside of them. And then when they start to regurgitate those actions and behaviors, then we want to punish them. We want to chastise them. No, we need to stop and think about where they're getting these behaviors from. We cannot behave like this in front of children and expect them not to reciprocate that behavior. Come on now, let's continue. Right now. No, you good. I'm not gonna move from this door. I'm not moving from this door. But he's gonna leave me down here and you don't care because I, 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 I don't, I don't. I know, and I get it, and I get it. I get that you don't care. I get that you don't care. But this not cool, I got my baby out here. You can't tell. Don't, don't, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna leave me out here. That's petty as fuck. You told me he was gonna see me the money for my Uber and he did. I didn't touch nobody, but now I'm feeling some type of way because now I'm in a we in the same hotel. We in the same hotel, and now I'm telling you, chill out, let us put the kids up and, and, and back up. I'm telling you, they not put them back there. It don't matter, but I'm telling you, that does matter. That does matter. I'm telling you, chill out. My son out here too. That's not even your baby. Oh, yeah. 
talking about she gonna fight me. Now you wanna fight me over him because you embarrassed. You embarrassed and you really mad because I look better than you. He oh, cheated. I think I gotta put it in my name. He didn't sit up there and cheated on you 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 and cheated on you. I ain't never been with this man. I keep blocking him. He hit me at four in the morning. The last time I talked to him was two days ago, and I had told him I was gonna call him back, and I didn't call him back. You hit me at four in the morning and tell me, get my pack my bags, and you you finna take us for a flight. Her story was they got into it last night. She like, oh, so you so we got into it, so you finna fly home to the bitch house? Yeah, that's what he did on your ass. Just like he had all them kids on you, and you don't have no kids by him. No kids. So those ain't even her kids. Those not her kids. Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna get you a room. You cannot start clowning. I still got a room. You're about to be in my name and I'm, I'm about to pay for it. Okay, because you out here from wherever you from. He had for flight my son. flight is here. from today and I in and my next flight is from the 7th. I'm gonna get you a room. Okay, 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 I'm gonna get you a room. Yeah, because I did my husband like that before. So yeah, you can, if he paid for it, he can cancel it. If he have, do he have the confirmation number? I have. Or it came to your email? It, I have everything. <laughs> so y'all got the gist of the story right she was messing with this guy the guy called her the night before the trip and asked her if he could fly her and her son out to disneyland she got to the airport got on the plane when she got on the plane he texted her and told her that his bm had basically been stalking him and followed him to the airport so they land in miami i think it was they land in florida and that's when this whole exchange happened she gets to the airport he doesn't have a way for her to get to the hotel and he canceled her hotel while he was there and the receptionist or manager i'm pretty for sure that's who that was at the hotel paid for her a room right so that's the gist now we're gonna get into her responses to comments and her really breaking down this story so let's get into it first of all I got invited the night before the trip. I knew about the trip a long time ago. He didn't invite me on the trip because it probably wasn't a thing that he was going to do with us. He had a girlfriend that I never knew about. Sister wives is crazy. I didn't know about her. She said she knew about me though. Sounds like I'm the main bitch, but he not my man. Like. He just somebody that sponsors me. First of all, be easy on the, I'm definitely not the main, as if I give a fuck. I'm saying that to say that how she knew about me, but you still messing with this man. If I knew about any girl that he was messing with, why would I come on, why would I? So I don't want to go on and on about the living situation. So the living situation, when we first met, he was living in Monet or Moni, and I stay in the city. So that's like an hour and a half away. You figure out if you want to travel back and forth to a man house like that. And then he, he be in the city. So he's a truck driver. So when he comes to the city, that's when we will link up. That's when we will meet up. We didn't start off getting rooms. We didn't start off going to the Ritz Carlton and going to Sybaris and going to the very cool rooms and stuff like that yet. We didn't start off like that yet. I made him work for it. We went out on dates. Every time, I'm always at a steakhouse. He never, like, I usually have guys take me to Hooters first. We never even had a Hooters date because that's how he was coming. Like, he came in with just a bankroll. Like, that's how he came. And I, I, I mean, I'm not used to the whatever he was trying to get me into. I don't know if he was trying to get me into a sad, a sad thing because this never happened to me before. And I clearly, I feel like I handled it pretty good i i feel like i crashed out only when a motherfucker was trying to make it seem like oh now i ain't finna have nowhere to sleep that's not gonna happen 
like, yeah, I'm proper, I'm, I'm cool and classy or whatever, but I do definitely got a gangster side to me. Like, don't ever think that this pretty face will not get demon on your ass. Like, he didn't know that. And he thought that I was going to fall in line and listen to all his duties. And he just fucked up. I don't think he thought about this plan. You know what I'm saying? I never even knew he had anybody on his head. The fact that she's saying she knew about me was enough for her to... I would have went through his phone and, and said something like, you knew about me a couple years ago, but I'm 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 nothing to know about because we wasn't like... We wasn't in a relationship. Y'all girls on here, y'all do way worse shit. And I ain't even do nothing wrong. A nigga flew me out. He put money in my pocket. My son's birthday was a week ago. He, he took care of that. Like... I don't know what y'all talking about. Y'all be going for cheap, going for less, going for poor, going for broke for these niggas. Never would that be me. Watch y'all mouth how y'all talk because you hoes you don't know me. No, I didn't think that the thousand was hush money. I thought it was just, okay. I thought it was like, here I'm finna give you some money, like be cool type shit. So I did. For the most part, I did be cool. But then there's other text messages that I did not screenshot and show y'all. And I was asking him. Are you going to send me some more money for us to get to the hotel? Are you going to send me money to get the room? So don't send me money so I can pay for my expenses. Send me money to put in my pocket and send, and make sure all expenses are paid. Duh. Like, y'all bitches be going out sad. A thousand dollars nothing, I say nothing. He, he was supposed to send me that and he was supposed to make sure he paid for my room my um my trip was still good and everything and he was supposed to respond to me when i said are you finna get us a ride to my spot to the hotel and he didn't and that's what made me panic i agree but imagine him sending you a text on a plane saying okay i'm finna send you this money and here's the room itinerary i've never been in a situation like this before y'all talking like y'all are professional sad bitches i swear to god like if I ever get into another situation like this again, I know how to play it. So I can just run it the fuck up. But this, I've never been in this before, y'all. Like, I've never been in nothing like this before. So, he's sending me an itinerary for a crib. I didn't think, I'm. he could be sending me off anything. But I've never known him to send me off. Like, but it's like now it's other people involved, so there's no telling. And my trust issues, I have trust issues with everybody. I don't trust anybody really like that. But whatever it's Disney World so it's just like I could have played it off but then I panicked because I'm texting you and saying give me a ride and you didn't give me a ride to the hotel so I hear, I see a lot of people in the comments saying that oh you did good until you said sound like I'm, you the main bitch I was being funny y'all hoes don't know how to be comfortable a little bit y'all say everything serious do everything have to be a boohoo crying moment mm -hmm. I hope you gonna order some pizza. Oh, you y'all gotta be y'all gotta be a little bit stronger than that. Well, y'all know y'all not in a relationship with somebody. Y'all gotta expect the unexpected. This might have been a little bit off the wall, but I don't have my heart in the situation to where I'm over here fucked up. I've had crazy situations. This was not. This wasn't even the most fucked up situation. This was a messed up situation, but this is not even the worst that I've been through before. And the only reason why y'all know is because I'm letting y'all know. So be like, I'm gonna just let y'all say what y'all wanna say. Cause I'm giving I'm giving y'all something to talk about. So go ahead, whatever. I know who I am. Y'all keep seeing the way he paid for the trip. He paid for the flights and the trip, but he didn't pay for the expenses for Disney. We didn't have Disney tickets. We didn't have none of the Disney stuff. So technically. All I had was my videos to post, and that was my entertainment. Feel how you want to feel. Fine ass nigga, you can slide in my DM. I want a new man. I am not fucking with him. He slapped my phone out my head. So my um live is blocked because of all of this stuff and everything. I mean, it's probably for my own good because. It's a tropical storm out here in Orlando, so I took it upon myself to entertain myself, not knowing that it would pick up like that. 
but y'all can say what y'all want to say. I like, I love the fact that everybody is so concerned about, um, like, did you get your baby home? Y'all go home and everything like that. So we're fine. Everything is good. We have our flights back. It's a tropical storm out here. That's the only thing. Like, it being a storm is probably the only thing that's probably going to, like, take longer for us to get home. Um, hopefully not. Hopefully that's not going to hinder us or, or anything. Hopefully, I would, like, you know, if anything, probably have to be out here for an extra day. Disney World definitely canceled for everybody because of the weather. So, there you have it. Um, let's see. I'm, I'm addressing all of the questions real quick. Because um, we're, we're actually about to leave. Let's see. What else was going on? Definitely not mad, not sad, not hurt. Um, about the situation or the family or whatever. I wasn't impressed about anything. I didn't know about if anybody was smart enough. The people that was like commenting and saying like, oh, you can you, why would you come out there with no money? Y'all are so smart. Like, why would I come anywhere without any money? But why would I come, why would I get flew out and expect to pay anything and expect to um, come out of my pocket for anything? You know what I'm saying? This man hit me up out of spite because he got into it with his girlfriend that I knew nothing about. To invite me and my son out on a Disney trip with him and his other children. And those aren't even not her children. So I don't even understand what what's not clicking with everybody with that. I didn't give a full story, full background. So I understand if there was any miscommunication. Um, I don't go around and wreck homes. I don't go around and be with men that have a relationship that know of a relationship. Like me and this dude, we just we're, we was just friends. Like it's not even that deep. Like him inviting me with some friends stuff. Like we kick it like normal friends. But he really messed up at this point. And when it came down for him to be a man, I personally think he crashed out. Like my response was normal from the beginning to the end. I was cool. I'm chill now. This is my normal. This is how I normally am. I I feel like I am a victim in this situation, but people want to feel like that I'm not. Well, that's 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 y'all. That's how y'all feel. I think people in their feelings because I posted it and people got exposed and like it just is what it is. Like it happened. It happened. Everybody, they they was telling me take the L, move on. You take the, everybody take the L and move on. Like to me, there is no losses. It's only gains to me. I look at everything as up and up and up. This was a lesson on. I knew he was a liar. I knew he was this. I knew he was that. This is why I never dated him seriously in the first place. And every time I would block him, he would come back around. It would always be on the purpose of if I need anything and just some chill stuff. It was. It's not even a big deal. I think. Y'all, not y'all, but the people that are negative, that are commenting negative, you guys are way too invested than y'all need to be as far as like trying to figure out every little detail of what's going on. Like, my son is gonna be okay. He's in good hands. Um, I panicked uh, as a normal person, thinking like, okay, so we're not gonna have no room. And it's not that like I didn't have money to pay for my own room. Why would I pay for my own room? You girls gotta figure it. Y'all gotta think smarter than that. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I got money, but I'ma act like I don't because I didn't. I, I didn't go out of town on my own. And, and you know what I'm saying? Like this was literally last minute. I'm in my bed, and I took a flight less than 12 hours off of his dad. So I didn't have trip money saved that I have my money in my bank account, my savings, my business account, all of my my stuff. That is that's why would I use that to fund my trip when this man invited me and my son out for a vacation? And me knowing him, I know he could take care of it. All of this is unexpected for all of us. And then for the girls, for the girls, for the girls that tell me to play my role, 
Like, damn, I wrote for a thousand dollars. Y'all going out sad. Y'all going out real low balling. Like, a thousand, baby, what's a band? That's not even rent. A couple of y'all saying, my rent is a thousand. Y'all, you, you stay in Las Vegas. I stay in Chicago. There is no thousand dollar rent. That's a studio. I had a studio that was 600 and it was going up. Like, so that's not even rent. Like, I don't even know what y'all talking about. Like, but I'm definitely not pressed and sad about a situation that could have turned out beautifully. You know what I'm saying? Um, me and the girl, we didn't even have no beef or whatever the case is. Like, so I'm not even gonna speak on that. You know? Yeah. Me being dumb, stop it. Me being pressed, stop it. Me being agitated, irritated about the the girlfriend come on the trip well, I didn't even know he had a girlfriend when he actually made the scene like she was the stalking baby mother stop it like be for real it's giving what it's giving and I've never been pressed about a man and I've never been pressed about a man that's definitely not pressed about me I got flued out how many times you got flued out this is not my first time getting flued out I've never had this issue before I've, I've never played no sad bitch back me so, to me, I did the best that I could in the situation. And telling me I should have took the thousand or the two thousand and ran off to La La Land with my baby. That is why a lot of people be single. That's why I ain't, that's why I'm seeing y'all out here big back strong and carrying on all this weight. When these men be putting out in these situations and y'all don't hold them accountable. And y'all think that just because you got a little change that you should just supposed to be like, okay, well, I got the money. Let me just go ahead and live my life. Hold people accountable for their wrongdoings. And if they don't want to pay up, well, there's other ways around that. A lesson for me, I would just say I should have never trusted him again after I knew like what kind of guy he was. Like he lied about his one-year-old son and seeing that the girl popped up at his baby's party and said, happy birthday, Merry Christmas. And then I found out by the girlfriend at the airport that he knew about the baby. And that was my first instinct. And that was literally our first time kind of getting into it. And I had stopped talking to him then. But if y'all know how guys is, they gonna try and they gonna try and they gonna try and they gonna try and they gonna try until they get you back to being back up under them this that and the third he never got me to be back how he wanted me to be but i guess it was good enough for him because he was willing to pay for my presence so i mean me being wrong i don't think so money some the money don't be worth everything so i think this was a lesson of saying like the money is not worth your peace the money is not worth your happiness that's what i learned from the situation and I'm gonna take that with a grain of salt and I'm gonna move forward. I'll keep pushing. Like, Franco Girl, Betty Wood, Clock That Tea. I'll be back with some updates. But yeah, yeah, y'all be cool. Love and light. Love and light. It's not that serious. We are okay. Thank you for everybody that was concerned. Um, my heart goes out to the people that was actually concerned about our safety, actually concerned about me and him. We're not crashing out. We're eating and we're good. We're, we're good. God gonna take care of us. Lord, He knows my attention, so I'm not worried about anything. Exactly, this is my point, and I'm not trying to be rude or nothing like that. But I don't, I don't give up. I don't give an F. Like one of the videos, one of the videos got silenced. I'm about to have me a mimosa. My baby is fed. Like we're out of the rain. We're not in the storm. And do y'all believe he tried to request and get the money back? Like, after everything you called, you have a nerve to try to flag my cash app and try to get the money back? You're overwhelmed. All because I got bored and I posted the videos. What do you expect me to do? You brought me on a trip, a blank mission, and I just, and like, nobody could tell me what I would have done in that moment. The fact that I even kept it cool and I was and I was even deciding if I was gonna say something or not was already putting my integrity on the line and already trying to make it seem like I'm some type of sad shit, which I'm not. I was gonna sit up there and compromise who I am, the person that my values and the morals that I go by, all to keep this nigga life a secret. And then people still people still wanna talk about how I'm crashing out 
Oh, uh, say I'm crashing out because, oh, I missed the blessing. I could have built to him. I could have got more money out of him. Y'all not doing nothing but feel to the fire. That man wasn't going to give me nothing else after that. And if he was, it was going to, like, he, what would stop him for, what would stop him from actually taking me serious now? Now, now it's going to, you a liar. I done took you back from being a liar and I let you be cool with me. Not be my man. I'll let you be cool with me. And I'll let you put money in my pocket and look out for me. Now, now, now you just brought me on a trip with you and your whole family. Lad is said to grow your baby mama and, and really to grow your girlfriend. I would have never found that part out because he probably would have, he probably would have kept running that story. And then, he probably would have gave me some money when I got home. All because of that. But then, now I'm a goofy. Now he like, oh yeah, I can play mad tricks on these women. Y'all gotta watch that. I'm not gonna sit up here and compromise who I am and let this man think that he, the world is his, that it's in the palm of his hands. Absolutely not. I'm gonna stand on my own. I got my own money. I can pay for my own stuff. Yes, but you flew me out. This was your decision. This was your fuck up. All I did was post the evidence of what happened. And you salty, you salty. I don't give a fuck. Two on the balls. Good, we got flights home. Yep, God is good. We got flights home. Yeah, I don't know if I made this clear um, before when I was talking about everything because I haven't really told the full story. Um, but we was already in Orlando when all of this was happening. We was not back at home. So people said he's saying, why did you go? Why did you still go? We was already on the plane boarding when he said that his baby mother was stalking him and following him. And if y'all did not follow, the girl is not his baby mother. He lied. That is his girlfriend and they live together. When I get my life back, we gonna chat it up. But I'm finna drink my mimosa. Look at they leaving right now. This motherfucker is standing right here. Give me that number. No, she did. Oh, she gave me a number. She gave me another one. The guy's in the beach. No, he's not. Cause I don't know what happened. Did she tell y'all the story? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Been concerned about you see? all morning. I was like, is she okay? I'm okay. Like this, I cannot believe this. That's the man I take care of you. I hope so. Her friend, the girl. Yeah. Because we're here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh my God, this is crazy. Hell fucking no. I can't believe this. This never oh. Oh. This is crazy. Oh. Y'all, they packing up. Get ready to leave oh right now. Oh. You on candy camera now. Yes, 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 yes. Did y'all see that video about that girl who got flew out to Disney World with her son and then found out that Yes, I saw the video. I posted the video. And I love your advice. You wanna know why? Because you sound like a typical sad bitch. And I don't play sad bitch roles. I never been a sad bitch. I never agreed to be a sad bitch. Secondly, I did not plan on recording this. This happened all because I felt like I needed protection. So what y'all did not see is me walking around the airport trying to figure out what should I do? Should I actually approach it or should I be cool? And if other people was so invested, like how everybody else is so invested with this bitch with all these pounds and pounds of makeup on, and she's probably a sad chick, clearly, y'all would have known that if I was walking around the airport trying to figure out if he's going to get us a ride to the hotel. He had stopped replying. So at that point, I didn't. Even, I wasn't even sure if the hotel that he picked or booked or whatever he did, if it was actually true or not. So I'm trying to wait and to see if he's going to reply. He did not reply. So now I'm walking around, going to the bathroom, texting him, 
telling him like you overplayed like what's going on are you getting us a ride how are you going to go about this he's not responding so at this point I'm just like, okay, whatever. I took a deep breath and I still decided to play it cool. I got my bags and then I ran into a girl that was talking to me that was telling me like, oh my God, you're everything and you're so beautiful and you're this and you're that or whatever the case is. So I had chatted up with her to buy bypass time to see if he was going to reply eventually. He still had not replied. So I was trying to find a way to talk to her to see if she could give me a ride. Even though he sent me $1,000, he did not make a clear statement if I was using that money to go and supposed to be paying for all my expenses. And what do you mean paying for my Disney tickets? If I get flued out, I get flued out. I'm not finna pay for nothing. No ride, no tickets, no candy, no money, no nothing. No ham, no ma'am, no turkey. I'm not paying for nothing. I'm pocketing that th that thousand dollars. You, y'all got the, y'all you a sad bitch and you paying? He got it too easy. That's why you bitches get tricked like that. Like, if you ask me, the main bitch got it better. Because at least she lived with him and he taking care of her and all this other extra stuff. You telling me a thousand dollars is gonna buy you bitches off? I have a son. A thousand dollars gonna buy you hoes off? You hoes are sad. That's not even your rent, bitch. Is it though? What y'all gonna what y'all not gonna do is make me the bad person and try to make a scene like, oh, cause I said something I ain't playing cool. I'm real player about shit. Real motherfucker player. I'm so player. That this nigga done chased me and got me down here with his fucking girlfriend in the first place. And he probably saw me as a candidate and thought I was going to be a hush-hush and to be his savage. Because I played my role in, and, and he thought that his sponsorship was good enough for that. That's how player I am. I'm so motherfucking player that I don't even give a fuck about none of this shit. And you hold do. I put it out there for y'all to talk about it, so y'all talking about it. Have a good motherfucking life, bitch. I'm still gonna live my life with that thousand dollars and more, but I don't have to deal with no sad bitch ass shit. Everybody that's agreeing with it is so sad. I'm starting to see this is why the men is fucked up because y'all are enabling them to be having y'all as sad bitches and y'all going for cheap. Y'all going for nothing. A thousand, maybe? If he would have sent me, if he would have sent me five thousand, I ain't gonna cap. I would have been like, you know what? Even if I go to this hotel. And he, and he didn't book me reservations and he and whatever the case is i can book my own reservation i can book me a motherfucking car i don't even care but i don't think a thousand was enough to cover it see i'm i, I my standards is probably way too happy low so y'all can't even fucking see it and that's probably one of the things sometimes we just gotta bring it back down but i'm already up here See, bitch, you couldn't even, you can't even see it. I'm already up, I'm already up the, my standards too much of a guy. So, yeah, I was expecting more. And if I'm expecting more, I'm going to get more. I don't have to settle for less like you, baby. I don't, I don't have to put on pounds and pounds of makeup for a man to want me. I don't have to live with him and then have a bitch flew out and act like it didn't bother me. Because if, that, if he was my man and he flew out a girl, that would have been it. I would have been moving out. Unless I really was, unless he's really taking care of me. And then that's just my life. I'm done with the situation. I could say so much more on it, but I just feel like it does not matter when y'all made up y'all mind to be savages and a thousand dollars is enough for y'all. Smooches, aka Sarachi, stream my music, um, my summertime hangover video. I mean, uh, my summertime hangover EP just dropped um, like last week. Yeah, I'm out here doing big things and I'm making bitches talk about me. A savage never. I could really show y'all how to do it. Love y'all. So y'all, let's get into it because there's a few things in this story that has me concerned. Concerned about our younger generation and their decision-making skills. Right now, it seems like everybody just wants to be flued out, blued out, fly me out, can he fly me out? But nobody's stopping to think about the danger that causes, especially in today's day and age. And if you said you don't trust people, why would you trust him to fully make accommodations for you and your son? It's one thing to be caught slipping when you're by yourself. It's another thing to be caught slipping when you have your child with you. And that's not to say that some men that fly women out don't have good intentions. But you're going to fully trust that with your son involved? 
Then she said she didn't find out about the girlfriend until they were on the plane. Could be possible. I have my speculation, but could be possible. I can give her that. But when he texted you while you were on the plane and he told you that his baby mom followed him to the airport well how exactly would she get on the plane if she didn't have a ticket see sometimes y'all gotta think and make two plus two equal four and when it starts equaling 10 11 you need to start asking questions then she continues to say that he sent her money on the plane one minute it was a thousand next minute it was two so i don't know what the total amount was but he told her to be cool so you knew what you was dealing with while you were on the plane before you even stepped off the plane you knew what the deal was you want to have your moral compass going and you wanted to let the girlfriend know so she's not being made a fool of see that i could have understood but that's not what she did in this situation in my opinion she didn't care about whether or not that girl was going to be hurt she didn't care about causing a scene in front of his children who were there she cared about exposing the fact that he had another woman there with her that's what this was about let me tell you how i know because if she really was concerned about just letting the girl know that she was being played like she was being played then she would have just walked up to her and said honey listen i just want to let you know this man flew both of us out here i found out when i was on the plane he said you were a baby mama that just followed along he flew me and my son out here but he never has to worry about contacting me again me and my son will be cool we'll figure it out from here but woman to woman i thought you should know that would have been one thing but that's not what she did she said she wanted to know about the hotel accommodations and the ride to the hotel but he just gave you two thousand dollars once you peep game you could have taken that two thousand dollars got your own ride to the hotel and got your own room you never let your children know there's a situation especially when they're that young but she didn't care about that she cared about proving a point she cared about trying to see which one of them he would choose that's what this was about if i expose the situation is he leaving with her or me let me further help you understand how i know that's not the case because she let the hotel manager get her a room but kept bragging about she had her own money if you had your own money i would have been like finger fuck that ninja and went on about my business with myself and my son but no, you wanted to make it so if my situation is messed up, everybody's situation finna be messed up. You didn't choose me. All right, this whole trip about to be thrown off. And what makes it even worse, there were children involved. I understand her frustration. I get it. But to do all of that in front of your son, his children, where did those parents and skills come from? And then you get upset and say F his kids. The kids have nothing to do with this. And that's where I agree with the girlfriend at when she kept trying to tell her let's not do this in front of the children. She didn't even have any children but she had enough respect for you and yours and his children to say we can deal with this but we're not going to deal with it in front of the children. But no this is what happens when y'all run after men with money. You just want a man with money. You want a man who's going to fly you out. You want a man that's going to cash you out. You want a man that's going to be your financier. See, y'all run around here with all this hoe talk and then get mad when he treats you like a hoe. I mean, if we're going to talk about it, let's talk. Scoot up. He was one of her sponsors. So for some of y'all, that's all a man is supposed to do. Sponsor you. Sponsor your field trips in and out the state. Sponsor your bills. Sponsor your children. Sponsor your lifestyle. But you don't realize that makes you nothing less than a high-priced hoe. Let's talk about it. He ain't cashing you out for nothing. He paying to play. And you've already admitted that you played. So if it was just about moving on, why didn't you go down to the desk and get your own room? Why didn't the reception, why did the receptionist have to pay for it for you? Why did she have to comp it? Because he flew you out so he was going to take care of you? Why? You have your own money. That's what makes you look pressed. Because a woman with real money would have said, oh, okay, touche. And handled her own business letting him know, I don't need you. This was fun for me. But the fun you trying to provide, I can provide myself. So, and I'm about to show it to you. His number would have been blocked. And me and my son would have went on to enjoy our vacation. But you're causing scene after scene. 
and you have money in your pocket, y'all gotta make it make sense to me. Your standards are too high. No, I think your standards are kind of low when the only thing you utilize to evaluate those standards is how much money a man has in his pocket. Those are low standards to me. And I know somebody will say, only people without money think like that. <laughs> well, I don't have money like that and I'm still saying the same thing. I've never looked for a man to be a financier, a support, a cash card, and any man that ever dated me would tell you the same. I never counted or checked a man's pocket, never. My mama always taught me learn how to get it for yourself so nobody can hold it over your head that they did it for you. So no, I don't understand this new age mentality. It would be one thing if we were in a relationship. <laughs> we're together and we're doing for each other. Number two, I don't trust enough to let somebody that I barely even know fly me out of the state. Have y'all watched what's going on on the news around you? Because number one, I watch way too much investigation discovery for that. Because how don't you know he has a girlfriend? You know how I'm always talking about those signs? I've never crashed out over a ninja. Never. I've never crashed out with a woman over a ninja. Never. Nor have I ever gone on an exposed tour. Because I found out a ninja was cheating. Baby, I'm the queen of move around. Because you only get one opportunity to play in my face. Before I have to show you how the game is played. And instead of playing those games baby i'll just cut you off my piece is too important but see here's the real problem the real problem is somehow this day and age we're so stuck on the outer appearance that we start to feel like because i'm cute and got a shape the man gonna choose me every time not realizing that a man can cash you out and pipe you down and still not be invested in you but you think your big button a smile is enough to pull a man away from who he has his allegiance to that's where we mess up at as women not realizing baby he can smash you and be on to the next after he just dropped two grand in your pocket let's talk about it but see no we so hooked on what's going on with these celebrities and these rappers that we want to fit this aesthetic and somehow we think all men with money want a small waist and a big ass and a pretty face when some men just want loyalty even if they don't know how to be <laughs> it's just a fact we got to stop living in lululand and start facing some real reality because reality huh, that hoe is hell and she will come knocking right on your door and she don't care if you ready for it or not she gonna give you a dose and a double dose set your standards higher ladies stop settling for less than what you deserve because he got a couple coins in his pocket because you don't know what those coins are gonna cost you i want to know what y'all think about this story i want to know in the comments if you were in her situation what would you do how would you handle this situation let's talk about it Consider joining the Champagne Gang, the Fizz Fam. At Champagne Secrets, all are welcome. This is a safe space, a community of thinkers and dreamers. And we love to have you. And if you're not sure just yet, don't worry about it. We'll leave the light on for you. If you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting that like button. Consider supporting the channel. The Cash App is on the screen. Thank you for joining us for The x file X is exposed, where love story become x files And until next time, time always remember if it doesn't cause you to elevate it's causing you to depreciate raise those glasses clink and let's drink till we meet again ta-ta